Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Yeah, it doesn't look like this solar storm is going to be strong enough for for us. Oh my gosh, strong enough for us to see here in Connecticut. I wanted to show you guys how much rain that we have had so far this month. We're only 10 days in and already over four inches above average. And we've got, you know, the rest of the month still left to go. So we've already received one two months worth of rain during what is typically the driest time for us here in Connecticut. The next couple of days will be hot but dry. Temperatures will be in the 80s to right around 90 degrees. We are not only going to get a break from the rain, but we also are getting a break from the humidity, at least a bit less humid as we head through tomorrow and also on Wednesday. You're still going to feel it. It's just not going to be as high or as intense as it has been the last couple of days. But later this week as the humidity starts to climb, so will our chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms. And obviously we don't need any rain at this point. So we'll have to watch a chance for flash flooding as we head towards the end of the work week. Unfortunately, low temperatures tonight will fall back into the lower to middle 60s. I think this affords us the best chance to kind of open the windows and recirculate the air in our homes after it being so stuffy as of late. Heading through the day tomorrow, it is very warm to hot. We are looking at high temperatures climbing between the mid 80s to right around 90 degrees as we head through the afternoon and we'll see plenty of sunshine to go along with it. It will turn even hotter as we head into your Wednesday with high temperatures climbing into the lower 90s as we head through the afternoon. Again, plenty of sunshine dry from start to finish. We take it and run with it. Here's that little dip in the humidity again, not a refreshing or comfy air mass by any means, but we'll take any relief that we can from this top category before it returns Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The soup is back and to go along with it, there will be a rising chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. So I think the first chance for us to see any of that activity will be later Thursday, Thursday night, especially in western Connecticut. But by Friday, I think showers and storms are more widespread across more of the state and then we'll see a few of them linger into the upcoming weekend. Here's a look at your Fox 61 seven day forecast. So again, notice the heat is the most intense the next couple of days, but it's still very warm as we head into the upcoming weekend. Right now, I would say hang on to your weekend plans. It doesn't look like either one of those days will be wet enough that you really need to move things around, kind of garden variety shower and thunderstorm activity. However, I think Thursday evening and Friday are of more more of a concern. So we'll be watching that period very closely again as we do not need any more rain or rain problems. We'll keep you posted every step of the way, Ben.